Burnishing Differences with Black Magic. In this video, we're going to cover a couple of the more popular techniques as far as burnishing. And all burnishing means is it's a fancy way of saying scotch brighting. So, we're going to start with 180 grit, and then we will clean with the Sculpt Nouveau Metal Cleaner and a scotch bright pad. We'll scotch bright the metal with the metal cleaner on it for a little while. I usually do a circular method, but it doesn't make much of a difference because we're not trying to scratch the surface. We're really just trying to scrub it decently. And it doesn't make much of a difference what scotch bright you use. I've used red, green, dark gray. They all work. We'll wash that and dry it, and now we'll start with Black Magic. Black Magic is by far one of our most popular patinas. It blackens steel. It'll do other things to different metals, and there's other videos that will cover that if you're interested. But it is blackening steel for us right now. And basically, we put it on. It's a little uneven. I'm trying to get it to go all over. I kind of want to see that reddish, brownish color all over. You can see I'll move it, so I'll try and get it all over. Because if it starts drying in one area, that becomes problematic, and we don't want to do that. So here we're going to do no burnishing and we're just going to try and like set the tone if you just put it on and leave it, what's it going to look like? So we'll let this react for a couple minutes and then we're going to wash it off with water. And then once we dry it, we'll use clear guard mat in this case. Here we have the no burnish black magic and you can see there's a few areas that for me that are less desirable if you will. Doesn't look bad, but it just depends on what you're going for. Here, we're gonna put on some more black magic, and in this case, we're gonna burnish in a linear fashion. So that's a straight fashion, or at least we are trying to use the scotch Bright pad in a straight fashion. We've done this method in other videos as well. There's a stainless one that covers this, but for black magic, I think it turns out pretty nice. I don't do it a lot, but I do like it when I do it. And it just kind of gives you this light and dark tones at the same time. And you can change it up by scotch brighting it more or less and just play with it to, to see what you like. But here we're gonna use the clear guard mat to seal it in. And now we're going to do the method that you normally would see if you watched a lot of our videos, which is the scotch Bright in a circular fashion, and then we'll do a second coat. And there's nothing wrong with just leaving it in a circular pattern to each their own, but usually we do this for darker and more uniform finishes. And so we'll usually say scotch Bright the first one in a linear fashion about the pressure that you would use to dust a fine dining room table. So not a lot. You can see that it kind of gets away from me every once in a while. But once we rinse it and dry it, you're going to see all the burnish marks just like we saw with the linear fashion, but this time in a circular fashion. And the way you get rid of all of those burnishing marks is you just do a new coat. Now this can go for the circular application like we're doing right now, or say you had to do the linear for whatever specific piece you're doing, you can do a second coat after that. It'll get rid of all of the marks for the linear, the circular, any sort of sc uh, scotch brighting or sanding that you need to do. It'll just fill in the grooves. And again, usually it takes a little bit better and a little bit darker than had you just done a second coat without any burnishing letting it go for a few minutes, rinsing, drying, and then we're gonna seal it in with the clear guard matte again. These methods are applicable to most black and brown cold process patinas. Black Magic and Clear Guard are available at www.sculptnouveau.com or by calling us at 760-432-8242.